Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Any of you experienced that middle of the night uh, wake up call where you're just, you wake up wide awake, um, can't get back to sleep, and like tossing and turning, and it's just not, not a good night? Has anybody been there? I've had that over the years, but into this new year, um, it happened quite frequently. And I'm going to share with you what God taught me to do in those times, okay? And I pray it'll be a blessing for you. I know it's not fun to get those early wake-up calls like that, but um, I think it, it actually could be a blessing. So let me go ahead and get my grip going for you. We're going to go into chapter 46, and verses 2 through 4 rose up for me. The title I have here is, This is When Jacob Leaves for Egypt. He's going to see his son, Joseph, okay? I'm going to start in, in verse 2 and go through 4. That night, God spoke to Israel, by right, Jacob, in a vision. Jacob, Jacob, he said. And Jacob replied, here I am. God said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you a great nation there. I will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also bring you back. Joseph will put his hands on your eyes. That's my G. Here's my R. Here's my reveal, and I'm going to get just personal with you guys. What if I was awakened in the middle of the night by a voice? Scott, Scott, and it was my heavenly father. I've not heard God audibly say that, but I have been woken up since the first of the, of the year at 3 a.m., every day in January. These past few weeks, I've learned that still voice at 3 a.m. and at 4 a.m. in those early morning wake-up calls. I need, here's my implementation, guys. This is what God has taught me to do when those happen. It happened all of January at 3 a.m. It happened all of February at 4 a.m. Remember my tea time with the Lord? It was 5 a.m. Um, this is what I he taught me. I need to act on those 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. wake-up calls when I'm wide awake. I need to go and grab my Bible. I need to go and grab my journal. And I need to sit and listen for a message from my Heavenly Father. It is then... His voice will speak to me. It was not an audible voice, guys. It was just him speaking in the depths of my heart. I've had it a few times over the years in that, but this was daily for January and February, and it was humbling to hear his voice. My prayer is, Lord, my heart's desire is to hear your voice and allowing you to place a dream, a vision before me as you're inviting me to act upon the work you have planned here on earth. Lord, please help me stay aligned to your perfect and your pleasing will. And guys, I, I don't know what that is for you, only God does, but the journey of waking up early now it hasn't happened um in the month of march i've slept till my 5 a.m wake up call um and i'll also be transparent with you in january february i'd look for opportunities to take power naps all right but those 20 30 minutes um especially in maybe mid to late afternoon before micah coming home that i needed to have my my a game and so i did definitely take more naps than i ever have in my whole life so, um, but I just believe if we're wide awake, could it be God has a message for you or for me? Grabbing the Bible, grabbing my journal, and just waiting for him and just allow um, him to speak or thoughts to come and just start writing those down. And I'm not going to pretend to say that God's going to pen this, this dream or this vision, but he may just do that. Let me close this out with a word of prayer collectively. And this will be continued, okay? I'll continue just to share 
with you more and more of the story. Lord, thank you uh, for this great example of calling out. Now, Lord, if one of our friends or my brother's here, here in the middle of the night, John, John, Steve, Steve, Joey, Joey, um, what an amazing uh, personal of this personalization of this story. But Lord, when we do have those wake up calls where we just can't sleep, what better way to seek after you? And Lord, that's what you've taught me. It's not just to roam the house or, you know, count sheep jumping over uh, the gates or just to spend time with you in those early mornings can be such an amazing, amazing, sweet time. And Lord, I just ask that you would give us that spirit to be open to allowing you to speak in the depths of our hearts, depths of our souls. Lord, thank you for the example of, of awakening Jacob and that you had a message for him, as you can today for each and every one of us. Jesus, speak, and I pray that we're open to listen. We love you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing day. Be blessed.